Hey, Xiaomi here. So today is the start of the reading rush. It is July 22nd. Good morning. Right now it is roughly around 6.35 in the morning. I wanted to start reading last night, but your girl is not a night owl. She's more of a morning, morning person and I couldn't stay awake. I tried, but I couldn't. I woke up like around 12 in the morning just to check on my dog but aside from that then I fell back asleep then my other dog which is Snow he woke me up at 5 45 because that's usually the time that I give him his um morning cookie and you know it's something that he's used to so you know he's like uh wake up it's time for my cookie right now so yeah um um what am I going to start reading right now since you know I'm gonna have breakfast because I didn't want to eat right now I just wanted to drink coffee which I already have my morning coffee cup right here and it is much needed um right now i'm having a few pains that are womanly so i drank a pill but i need to eat in order for that pill to actually function um and what i decided to do is that while i eat i'm going to be reading the backstagers um volume two so that's the one that i'm going to use right now to start um the reading rush challenges and then i am going to go on to the city of brass which i'm going to be alternating between audio format so that's why I'm going to use uh, my phone in a few minutes because I do want to listen to it. Like, it's really early. I just want to, you know, start with the chunkiest one that I have and one that I've been meaning to read for a while. So this is the one that I'm going to be um, starting with. And I'm really, really excited for this one. Um, I'm still in Nevernight. Um, this is one that I started in my previous... Um, readathon and i'm still struggling with it i managed to get to page 164 i was thinking can i add this one as a non-human main character because mia is frighteningly devilish at times and i'm just like woman you are not human you are not human and besides because of what she is is she classified as being human um like in my eyes i don't because like it's like a vampire I don't know i'm thinking about that but if not i'll just maybe add this one for non-human main character because i'm gonna take a break from this because this is giving me a headache so i'm gonna take a few moments to put it to the side and then you know i'm gonna pick up the graphic novel which is something that i need to like you know calm myself down and then i'll start city of breath and then i'll update you throughout the day today's gonna be a really busy day for me because i take mark to the vet um, today is his follow-up from the last time that I took him to his vet and he feels a hundred times better than the last time that you know I brought him to that vet so I'm I'm just so content I also hope that they don't charge me a lot because I can't right now I just can't but I'm gonna take him to the vet later on throughout the day not right now because it's really early they open at 8 I'm not gonna you know be there so early um, so maybe around like 12 12 30 is when I actually leave to go and take him to do that so i want to read a little bit while i start you know while i get him to to the vet but for this being a long ass intro that's all i wanted to say um i'll update you in a few first update of the day right now it is 8 15 i just did the review for backstagers volume 2 but i enjoyed it so so much i gave it five out of five stars like i loved finally the one that i was rooting for in volume one like we got a male on male romance um i loved the new characters that were being introduced i also loved how we have further world building for the backstage and how was it that it came to life so that was really excellent how Basically, the cliffhanger in Volume 1 was expanded a lot, was expanded a lot more in Volume 2. And I'm just like, <sighs> I really want to buy these graphic novels now because, like, I want to own them. They're just so cute, so adorable, and this one was just thinking lovely. I can't, like, oh my god. But anyways, I loved it, enjoyed it. You already know how much I enjoyed it and loved it. I keep on saying it um, over and over again, but I am going to start um the city of brass so when i get 50 pages into this book i'll update you as to how is it that i'm feeling but i'm just i'm excited to go into this one because like i just you know finished a really good graphic novel and yeah that's that's really all i want to say for right now but i so far have a good start
Okay, so my first little update for the City of Brass. It is 10.30 right now, and I am currently on page 38, but I am just loving this so, so much. Like, I'm loving the world-building aspects to it, especially dealing with the magic aspect of it, and how is it that the Jinn and the Ifrits are becoming woven into the story. And Nari, I love her as a main character. Like, ah, oh, she's just so amazing, and I can't wait to continue knowing more about her, and also her little secrets piece of because we're getting subtle little hints that there's something going on like in the first paragraphs and whatnot or like the first chapter and then we're just completely thrusted into this adventure and we're like wait what's happening here like you know we do know that she has some hidden um talents what the hell is happening to her and i'm just like i am invested i'm enjoying it so so much and also the um audiobook the narrator she's doing an amazing job i'm loving her narration and the intonation that she's using and everything that's happening also bless be that this has a glossary which is something that i always ask for especially in world building aspects when it deals with other cultures that i'm not too familiar with so i'm really excited that it has that there and you know we're getting a little bit more and also like i'm on page 38 and i have a lot of tabs like i am enjoying this so so much it is just such an amazing story it's a breath of fresh air compared to the one that i'm currently reading so yeah i'm just going to continue reading and I'm going to be stopping like around at 11.30 so I can get ready for um, taking Mark to the vet. And then when I come back, then I'll read. Because I'm not planning on reading the drive there just because it's a long drive. And also, like, I'm annotating it. So there's no way no how that's happening. Um, but yeah, I'll take a little bit of a break and then... You know, I'll immerse myself back into the story because I'm not stopping. Like, this is really, really good. A little bit of an update. It's 529 right now. And I just got out of the vet with this one over here. Can you see him? Can you see him, Mark? So they just prescribed um, only one of the medications that he had, which is for the allergies. And since I arrived, basically, I arrived like around 115 because... <laughs> I don't know why, but it took too much time. Um, I have to take him again next week so he can have the x-ray done. But since the doctor saw that he was improving, well, um, they're just going to have him on albuterol, which is for him to breathe in, and only the allergy pills. So, yeah, that was a plus because I was like, yes, I needed, you know, some breather. But, you know, he is feeling a lot better right now. My allergies are the ones who are like insane but i'm just gonna buy something to eat and then i'm gonna get home because i really really want to read like you have no idea how badly like i want to sit down and just devour city of brass because i'm really really enjoying that book good morning so today is the second day of the readathon it is july 23rd it's 7 40 right now and i already have made myself a good cup of coffee because it is much needed um yesterday i wasn't able to read as much as i wanted to because i arrived really late um, I came, arrived at my house around 7.40. That was marvelous. Um, the highway was closed, so there was a huge traffic jam. I was in a traffic jam for at least two hours. And it was not pleasant. It was not pleasant. I had to take a back road to get to my house. And I don't like that one because it's creepy and eerie. And after Maria, it looks horrible. I was like, where am I? This is not the place that I remember. But, you know, I just pulled through and I came here. But, um... Then I wanted to watch Jesus, which it was the, I think it's the, the finale yesterday, but kind of ended like it wasn't the finale. I don't know. It's just, it was so cute though, but I, I really did like it. And then I started reading and then I fell asleep. I managed to get to page um, 84 and there's a new perspective that's introduced. While it started off a little bit slow, I enjoy it so, so much because... Um, we get from the world of the jinn and how is it that the jinn or like the pure bloods treat the low bloods can I say how they treat the shafit and oh my god I was just like wow there was even a moment where I even wrote in the book that asshole <laughs> um, but yeah I'm enjoying it I want to see where is it that it goes or how is it that their lives are intertwined but so far it's really really good even the new one even though it started off a little bit slow the new perspective I'm enjoying it so far um, I'm also um, reading Lumberjanes right now while I drink my cup of coffee which I think I'm gonna have to warm up in a few seconds um, I'm not gonna say anything until I finish it because again we're having more supernatural beings being introduced and I want to see if something is resolved so we're gonna leave it at that 
Um, but yeah, um, reason as to why yesterday there was a traffic jam is because people in Puerto Rico are still, are still protesting and I am very proud of them, extremely proud of them. You have no idea how proud I am of them. Um, that they should have taken a stand before. Hell yeah, this should have been done a long ass time ago. So we can stop the people that are in um, power to stop stealing the money because that's one of the things that has us in this huge ass debt and, you know, um, money not given to the places that it has to be given, especially education, um, um, health, and also um, the police system. It's it's really, really bad. Um, a lot of things here in Puerto Rico that are really, really bad, and it'll stop if the corruption also just completely dwindles. And I'm proud of my people. I'm not in the protest just because I tend to have anxiety attacks when I'm surrounded with a lot of pe for, with a lot of people because I have an issue with my space being invaded so that's why I can't be in these protests like I support them with my heart and soul but I can't physically be there I've had three attacks in the past and they are not nice at all and I don't want to have another attack like in the in the middle of a protest and then me fainting that's gonna be marvelous so you know I support them from afar and it's not because I don't want to go because I don't care I do I want to but I just can't you know my health is very very important and I just can't put myself in that situation um, but yeah, I'm very, very proud of them. Um, for today, I think that my reading, it's going to be completely dedicated to my reading. I'm going to be completely dedicated to my reading. I don't know what it was that I just said there. Um, but, uh, I do know there are two things that are going to distract me. One is that I need to bathe my kids because they need a shower ASAP. And another one is that I'm not sure if it's today or if it's Thursday that one of my aunts comes to Puerto Rico from the states so my father wants us here and i told him that i will accompany him so if it's today those are the only two things that are going to distract me um aside from other humanly functions duh you know um but that's it that's all for my update um once i get a little bit more reading done then i'll tell you how is it that i feel about lumberjanes okay so time for a little bit of an update right now it is 10 29 and i haven't been able to do any sort of update just because i've been alternating between reading doing chores helping my mother out, um, attending um, family that came over to visit. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a busy day, which is something that I was not expecting. But anywho, with my reading updates, I can tell you that I finished this morning um, Lumberjanes Volume 2. And I'm going to keep on saying the same thing. Um, it's not really for me. Like, these graphic novels are so cute and adorable, and, you know, it has a lot of things that are nonsensical, and... People would really, really enjoy this. Like, I'm telling you, a lot of teenagers, teens would really enjoy this story because it's very empowering. And the friendship, that's one thing that draws me back to these stories is the friendship. That's one thing that I can say that's very abundant in the stories. But I'm just like, it's, it's just not for me, you know? And we finally got um, the revelation of what was it that happened in the previous um, little short stories um, because I read volume one copy probably like a compilation of maybe four to five stories and you know everything was just wrapped up and how was it that everything you know came to be and I was just like well okay whatever you know um, I did give it three out of five stars it does have a lot of potential like I said a lot of people would basically really enjoy it but just not I'm not it's not for me like that's what I'm gonna say but I would say that um, the friendships are just great and probably a hint of a female female romance so that would be really nice to actually see but there are a few things that are really again far-fetched and i'm just like okay whatever and then there are some things that were like oh but you know wasn't it obvious and i'm like um no <laughs> no it wasn't but um i have been getting a lot of reading done with the city of brass right now i am on page 308 and oh my god i'm loving this so so much like the world building is on point the writing the prose is just so beautiful i love it so much and uh, it's also very descriptive so it's very atmospheric you're going to feel you know the imagery being woven within the story and you're actually visualizing all these things and all the um supernatural beings or the magical creatures that are being um mentioned in the story and just the characters are just swoon worthy man i'm just i'm rooting for two i don't want there to be in, um a love triangle aspect here i also don't want her to fall in love with somebody else i i, I don't feel those two like let's be real there are a lot of revelations that have me like wait what i keep on writing that on the book like but i keep on writing 
oh my god or oh shit and like um oh this is not good so there are also a lot of things that are very hurtful like in the story it's very raw they're like there are a lot of things that you know it does not shy away from so that's something that i have to praise you know this author for that you know she isn't afraid to shy away from these deadly and just gruesome acts that you know people can commit so that's something that you know it's great to be included within a story so you know it won't just be like oh you know everything is all peaches and cream and nothing really bad happens here you know we're all just a perfect cloud of people it's not like that and that's something that i really do like to see in the story and i have to admit that i am all for nari's um pov like she's the only one i want to read about like let's be real but um now some things have happened that i'm intrigued in both povs i wanted to see if we were gonna get another pov but we weren't or we aren't getting that pov so i'm intrigued to see what else happens but i would love to finish it today but i'm not gonna finish it today because this one is a big one to get through um hopefully i'll finish it tomorrow because i just have one thing planned for tomorrow which i hope it doesn't take up too much time but yeah this is just amazing i'm loving it so so much damn it it's just it's just really good just ah, love it uh I, i'm gonna say that a gazillion times so be prepared for me saying i love the city of brass it is just such an amazing story and i'm just you know i'm invested i am invested so I'm what I'm going to do is that probably I'm going to charge my phone. Yeah, I'm going to charge my phone. So I'm going to stop with the audiobook once I get to the next chapter, which is basically like around three or four more pages. So yeah, and then I'm going to read roughly around 10 pages of Nevernight because um, I don't want to forget about anything. And no, Truth be told, I'm not going to forget about anything. But um, I just want to read at least a chapter or at least 10 pages. So we're going to see how mm, how much do I get into that. Um, I wanted to do today's challenge for the Reading Rush, um, but I just couldn't. I'm also checking the Instagram challenges, but I didn't want to do it for today because I already have all my picks um, set for the week. I can, uh, you know, alternate a few things up, but I don't know. I just I didn't want to do that one because, like I said, I had a lot of things to do. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be checking tomorrow to see if I can either do a video challenge or an Instagram challenge. We're going to see how that turns out because I don't know what I want to do yet. So yeah, that's all I wanted to update you on my reading. Good afternoon. So today is day three of the reading rush. It's 12.50 right now and I'm on my way to take my father to an appointment that he has to go to. So I'm going to be doing that errand and then I'm, I'm going to hopefully do that quickly and then come back home because I just really want to sit and read. Um, I did manage to read around roughly 30 pages from City of Brass. Same thing I've been mentioning throughout this entire um, few clips that I've been updating on City of Brass. I'm enjoying it, loving it, love the revelations, love what's happening and I'm very intrigued to see what else is it that's going to happen and what moves are going to be played out because there's a lot of intrigue here and I am invested. I want to know right now I'm not physically here in the audio. I just decided to read it because I'm really enjoying that book and I just want to savor it. So yeah, I managed to read a whopping three pages from Nevernight last night and then I was just like, I don't want to read anymore. So I just lay down and went to sleep. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I did watch one video yesterday. Um, I watched Hannah's video and it was a very emotional um, vlog because she did open up a lot and I'm very very proud of her she's a very strong fierce woman I just hope that you know she gets through everything that's happening to her in her life so yeah it was a very wonderful video to watch and I did comment on it um, today I haven't seen anything yet I haven't even seen the challenges I did see the challenge for um, Instagram but I'm not gonna be doing that one I think I'm not gonna be doing that one but we'll see um, but yeah, I'm gonna do the errand that I have to do and then I'll update you with my reading later Okay, so the radio today has been playing a lot of songs that I really do like right now It's playing TLC, um, Waterfall It's such a good song and I also love No Scrub so I was just like, oh my god, I'm crying right now But right now it's 4.12 um, I'm just gonna go buy one thing that I need I already did the errand with my father, I took him to his appointment um, I also bought some sticky tabs that I really needed. These are basically a dollar. So yeah, I'm running low on orange because I'm having a lot of thoughts in City of Brass. 
so yeah i really needed to buy that one um i also alternate that one with one that has um dark green purple and red because i use those also but i need to have a serious sit down with post-it because they need to make one for every specific color like i need to check on amazon to see if they actually make one for every single color because like damn like i need them like i have like eight at least four well how many is it now i have like five packets that are open and all of them are incomplete because um there's some that are missing especially the colors that i use the most i also got myself a little frappe from mcdonald's because there was no starbucks nearby well there is a starbucks nearby but it's really far so i wasn't gonna go there i had to basically you know travel to three more um cities basically so i was like mm -mm, ain't happening but yeah i'm gonna do that and next time that i update you i'm either gonna have 200 pages of city of brass red or i'm going to finish the book because it's really good and i'm curious to see how things are going to play out so that's really all i wanted to say right now Okay, so good afternoon today is july 25th it is around 1 15 i think or 1 20. Um, my phone is over there it's charging um so to give you a little bit of a reading update and also you know say hi how are you doing i'm not feeling all that well that's why i'm on my bed um woke up with a few cramps so i've been basically since i woke up i've been in bed i haven't been doing much um i did do the review for city of brass like i had it in my thoughts and i was like you know what let me just update this right now because what i'm doing is that i'm reading and writing the review i'm reading and writing the review instead of writing it in my notes and then just forgetting about writing the review i'm gonna stop doing that i'm just gonna read and provide the review on goodreads so i can just get that out of the way instead of you know procrastinating and being like oh my god what was this book about oh i do remember a few things but i don't remember too much too many details for me to actually write a full-on review so i did that this morning and i also managed to shift a few things around on my um reading challenges just because i don't know what's wrong with script but they basically if you read what i got out of what they had mentioned because there's this little um um, message that you click in order to find out why is it that you're seeing that and if you read a lot of books basically they restrict the amount of books because it says that it shuffles around your reading so what I got out of it is that that if you read a lot of books they'll shuffle a few things around and a few things will become unavailable because I had circle of shadows now it's unavailable so I did manage to read a graphic novel I read Misfit City it was a really good graphic novel I gave it four out of five stars um, it was just nice, you know, it reminds me, it has a lot of 80s vibes, it has a group of female um, characters that are just really intriguing, they're mis they have these kind of um, mysteries to them because they're just so different from one another and I just love them because, you know, there's the smart one, there's the little bratty one, there's the little girly one, there's the one that only cares about punk rock music and stuff like that, so it was a very diverse group of female characters. Also as my mother, because, um... Oh my god, it's really hot because my um my mother because the president or the governor of Puerto Rico um basically quit his job or you know with all the protest um he kind of gave up and he quit his job so that was yesterday the news is really popping so yeah um right now what I decided to do was that I decided to read a little bit of Jacoby I am right now on page fourteen. Um, later, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to read for a little bit, but later I have to go to visit my aunt because she came from the States and my father's going to come and pick me up to go and see her. So I was like, yes, thank you, daddy. I don't have to drive, which is something I hate to do. So yeah, it got really hot. It was raining and now it got really hot. So I'm going to turn on the fan because I can't anymore. But yeah, when I get a little bit more reading done, then I'll update you on how I'm enjoying or not enjoying Jacoby. I don't know, but right now it's 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 an okay. What what can I say in those 14 pages? Um, we've already met our eccentric <laughs> detective. Uh, it, it's he's, he's gonna know he's gonna be out there, you know. 
so yeah i can't wait to see if i enjoy this and i also don't know if i'm still going to read the book thief or if i'm gonna change that but i'll let you know later because i'm just gonna turn on the fan because it's really really hot right now but yeah that's what i have planned for today now it is 7 46 i wanted to have a little bit of an update um earlier i went to see um my aunt that came from the states and it was a really beautiful time i loved it i enjoyed seeing her again because i haven't seen her in years like years and it was nice to just you know converse with her and just you know see her again and just ah, it was just a lovely moment and um we're gonna do it again um we're gonna go visit her again but it was just so sweet to see her again i really really enjoyed my time there but anyways i don't know if i mentioned this but i started jacoby right now i am on page 55 and oh my god i understand why is it that jacoby is eccentric but he is oh my god he's just such uh, i'm loving him as a person but he's just like so daft when it comes to like socializing with people especially women he doesn't really know how to socialize with people i like say that you know he also reminds me of um oh my god i forgot his name right now oh um he reminds me of noose commander so he has a little bit of things that does remind me of him but oh my god i'm really enjoying this so far and it's a really really quick read the only thing i hate is that uh, like it's in the 1800s so obviously um women were treated very differently oh you should find a husband and settle down and have kids that's all you should do right now because you can't do anything else and i'm just like oh and also i don't understand what is the need of men always writing women and when they a woman sees a man they have to blush come on what is that i don't know maybe something typical in the 1800s i don't know but still like we don't do that man we don't do that all the time but anyways, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to continue reading. I hope to get at least 100 pages read from Jacoby. And then I think I might watch maybe two or three YouTube videos because I do want to take a little bit of a break. But we'll see. Maybe I won't do that until 9. So I'll give you a little bit of an update later as to what is it that I'm going to do. So right now it is 10.51 and I am on page, I'm about to start page 136, but I'm really, really enjoying this book. I don't know what took me so long to actually pick it up because it has things that I like and it's given me vibes of TV, of TV series that I have enjoyed watching like Supernatural and also Grimm and at times of Constantine. Because, you know, these are people that can see through that veil, you know, they can see the supernatural beings and ghosts and, you know, um, goblins and whatnot and all the other, you know, supernatural things that, you know, go bump in the night and whatnot. So, yeah, it does at times remind me, especially of um, Supernatural and Grimm. Um, at times of Constantine, not precisely because of his attitude, because they are completely different. But yeah, that's why I'm enjoying it so, so much because it does say, like a review mentions that it is a cross between Sherlock Holmes and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I can see that, like, I can see that right there. Um, but I say, like, it also reminds me a lot more of um, Supernatural and Grimm because of those little instances. But this is just such an amazing story. Like, I'm, I'm invested, I'm immersed in it, and I'm enjoying it so, so much. I didn't know I was going to enjoy it this much, you know? So yeah, I just hope that it continues that way, but from the looks of it, it's going to be that way. And I, I can't stop. Like, I can't stop. Like, there's a moment where I want to stop, but it's just such a quick read, you know? Like, you can sit in an hour and you'll easily get 100 pages read. It's that quick of a read because it's so immersive and it's just so engrossing. So I'm just like, I'm devouring it because it's so good, you know? So yeah, I'm thinking about maybe reading 20 pages more and then calling it quits because like my eyes are really sleepy and I wanted to watch like two or three um, YouTube videos but I don't think I'm gonna you know be able to do that because I'm pretty sure that if I turn on the computer and lay down in my bed I'm gonna eventually fall asleep <music>